everybody, it's Mia. So today I have a very fun DIY project I'd like to share with you guys that you can try at home. And I think it's an awesome gift for any occasion. And I think that anybody you give it to will love it. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these playing card um, picture, picture playing cards. I don't know what else to call it. Basically, it just has your photos, the photos that you choose on the back of a playing card. And I just thought that it'd be really cool to use like an actual poker game like you have with your family or friends. So instead of just staring blankly into space as you're waiting for your turn at the table, you can just look around at your other at the other player's hands and just, you know, take a look at their life. So I just think it's a really cool idea and I personally love it. So I thought I'd share with you guys. So a couple things to keep in mind. This project does require a lot of patience, so be sure that you're able to sit down for a couple hours. It was a bit time consuming, but I can assure you that it's definitely worth it at the very end. So I'm actually almost finished with the deck of cards and this is what I got out of it. It's pretty thick. It almost doubled in size after applying the photos onto here. This is the original, like the standard size deck and this is my deck after I applied the photos. So as you can see, it is pretty much doubled in size. Now let's go ahead and get started with the materials you'll be needing for this project. Let's get started. So here are the materials that I personally used for this DIY project and afterwards I'll discuss alternative materials that you could use for this project. So for the photo playing cards, you'll be needing a computer and a printer. You'll be needing some copy paper, playing cards, a pair of scissors, double-sided tape, and some contact paper, which you can find at your local hardware store or even at a Target or Walmart. So if you all are wondering what the use of the contact paper is, that is what I use to laminate my playing cards and as you can see it's got a not a gloss but a matte finish and that is what I use to self laminate the images that I placed onto the playing card. If you have access to a printer that prints on photo paper I would highly recommend using that because it will save you a lot of time or if you don't have access to a printer of that sort you can also feel free to head on over to your nearest one hour photo. So you're going to start by using the images of your choice and for this tutorial I'm just going to be using these two as an example. When you print out your image you are going to make sure that you crop it to a 2.5 by 3.5 inch size. That is roughly the size of a standard playing card. So what you're going to start by doing is flipping your image over to reveal the back side. Then you're going to take your double sided tape and start taping the back of the image very important to get the edges. So now that you have your double-sided tape applied onto the back of your image, you're going to take your playing card and lay it down onto your image. Since I pretty much completed my deck, I used an extra card that came in with the box. So I lay it down flat and I try to align it the best way that I can, starting at the very bottom. Once I feel that it is about even, I'm just going to go ahead and press down firmly and that is what you should get. Next step is to laminate your cards. So I'm going to be using some contact paper for this and here I'm using the contact brand and it is the clear matte. I'm pretty sure you'll have the most difficult time trying to get this off but the easiest way I found is to pick a corner, bend it, and then just pinch away at it. Kind of slide it away and it takes it off. I'm going to peel it all the way off and I cut out this long strip because you can laminate a lot faster than cutting individual pieces for each card. I'm going to go ahead and lay down your card like so. Then you're going to flip your images over. Then you're going to rub onto the surface of your playing cards using a credit card or something like it just to get rid of any air bubbles. After you've done that, you're going to go ahead and start with one end of this strip. Take an image out and then start cutting around the edge of your playing card. Be very careful with this step just in case you do plan on reusing the playing cards and taking the images off of the playing cards. This part to me was actually the most tedious. 
But after you've done that, you've pretty much completed your playing card. That is me on the left, if you guys are wondering. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of these cards and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like after it's been laminated. And I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed these streaks on the cards. And that's from the double-sided tape. And the reason why that shows up is because I just used the plain copy paper. But if you were to use photo paper, you would not have those creases. Everything would be just completely smooth all the way across. So that's why I would recommend using photo paper instead of using the regular printing paper like I did. So that is it for this tutorial. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the deck of cards is fairly thick, so it will not fit in the original packaging it came in. So to fix this problem, you can go ahead and create your own custom playing card box holder. And I found a very nice tutorial on the internet, which I'll be linking down in the description box below, on how you can make your own custom playing card deck holder. And if you don't have the patience to do that, you can go ahead and feel free to stop by your local craft store, like such as Michael's or Joann's, and purchase an unfinished wooden box that they have available. And that will go ahead and fit these cards in pretty nicely. And you can also decorate the outside of the unfinished box, which makes it extra special in my opinion. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this tutorial. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye!